Have you ever wondered if you are actually hitting your sales targets or staying within your budget? Or perhaps you are struggling to translate your business goal into actionable data insights. If any of that sounds familiar, you are at the right place. My name is Gurpreet and today I am going to show you how to define, visualize and track your objectives by setting goals using Tableau Pulse. So let's dig in. It's really simple to define or create your data goals using Tableau Pulse. This will not only help you to track your KPIs or metrics over a period of time, but it will also help you to evaluate that are we reaching our desired goals? Are we meeting our deadline? Or to make sure if the expenses we are spending every month, are they within our budget limits? So all these things can be done by setting up goals using Tableau Pulse. And in today's tutorial, that's what I'm going to show you how easy it is to create these goals in Tableau Pulse. But before I show you how to do that, I want to share that this tutorial is the extension of our previous tutorial on Tableau Pulse. So if you haven't watched my previous tutorial, then please make sure you do so by clicking on the link above. Now let's look at how these goals are created. And as you can see here, there are three different Pulse metrics already created for sales. And you can see here we have quarter to date sales, month to date sales, and last month sales. And in our first matrix for quarter to date sales, you can see we have a target of 500K or we have a goal for 500K and we have only met 12% of that goal. And you can see the trend here in blue line that that's how our sales figures are for quarter to date value. And we still have six weeks left to meet that goal. If we know that we are quite far behind our goal, then we have to work on our strategy to meet that goal. Now let's see how we can create this goal. So let's look at our months to date metrics and let's click on this metric. And in this, I haven't set up the goal, but there are two different ways on which we can create this goal. So the first way is by simply clicking on this three dots and we will go to set a goal. And this will help us to manually set a goal for a particular value. And you can type in the value, target value. So in this case, let's say I put 50K and it is completed by end of every month. So for the next month, it will, it will restart. So let's see how it's done. So we will simply click on save and you will see the manual goal is set. And you can see here 34% of the goal is met and we only have five days left. So definitely we have to work on our strategy because we are quite far behind our goal. Now let's look at creating a dynamic goal. And this feature was recently released. So let's look at this particular matrix. This is the last month's metric. So in order to create a goal, you have to make sure you have month to date value or quarter to date or year to date value. So it has to be a current value. So we will change from here or we can say week to date, month to date, quarter to date or year to date. Let's look at year to date value, right? And let's select it. So for that, uh, first way, by simply clicking on set goal, you can do that. Or well, the second way is you have to edit the definition. And when you edit the definition, you can see here it is showing us three different sections, the core definition, goals, and inside. So core definition is just giving the name, you have the measure value, you have the aggregation, running total, time dimension, periods, and these are the adjustable metric filters. So I already have this information available. So I will go to goals and here I will select the measure for a dynamic goal. And you can see here, it's an optional step. We don't need to do that. If you don't want to do it, just leave it blank. And if you want to set the manual goal, you can do it the way I showed you earlier. But if you have a data source goal, like in my case, normally I look at the monthly values, right? So aggregated monthly values or last 30 days average or those kind of things. So you have to create your data model that way that it have those values in your data model. So sales goals by month, I have created just a calculated field which aggregated the average of last 30 days, right? So I have clicked on that one and time dimension, I will keep it as order date plus one. Why order date plus one? 
that's a good question so if i go to the data set here i'm using sample server store data set and in my data set i only have the data till december 2024 so for creating the goals in tableau pulse we have to make sure we have the data till current date so for that i have just added the year in our existing data set so we have now the data till end of 2025 so that's why i have used order date plus one so here I'm just adding one year to our current date. So once that is done, I have published this data source. But yeah, if you already have that information in your data set, you can use that particular timeline. And then simply click next. And you can change the insights information here if you need to, and just can click save. And once we do that, you will see here, our goal line is set. So in this case, it is 745K for year-to-date value. So that's our target. And you can see here 8.2% of the goal is met. And we have 11 months left. So it is achievable, right? So that way you can make sure that you are on target. But what about if I update the goal manually after setting the dynamic goal? So it will overwrite that value. So if I simply change it to 500K, so currently you can see it's 745K as our goal, but once I change it manually, it will change that value and override it to 500K. So you have to make sure if you have a dynamic goals, then do you need to override it? Or always keep a standard value if you your goals doesn't change that frequently. But you can remove that manual goals by simply going to edit goal and delete manual goal and it will default to the dynamic goal which you have set earlier. So this is how you can create goals using Tableau Pulse and it's really simple and it will help you track your KPIs. I hope you guys enjoyed this session and if you have any questions, feel free to drop me a message in the section below. Thank you.